This is the voice of the railroad, Rustiana, here for this historic passenger train excursion from North Reading Outer Station to Jim Thorpe to the station stop at Fort Clinton, a total distance of 60 miles. Today we turn the hands of time back to 1962 as we embark on an iron horse ramble pulled by steam locomotive number 2102. Before we begin our iron horse ramble, I have a few important safety announcements. First, please keep your head, hands, and legs for that matter inside the coach at all times. Second, there is a restroom available in each coach for your convenience. And finally, if you have any belongings with you, please store them either in the racks overhead or on the floor at your feet, but not in the aisles nor on the seats. Our operating crew on the train today consists of steam engineer Shane Fredrickson, assisted by fireman Ryan Bowser and Ryan Fredrickson, and the guy that makes it all happen. First there was Michael, then there was Kobe, now there's Giannis, but none of them can hold the candle to America's passenger conductor, simply known as Rich. <laughs> the star of our show today is former Reading Company 484 T1 Northern type steam locomotive number 2102. The 2102 was built right here in Reading, Pennsylvania in the railroad's own shops that were located just south of here on North 6th Street. It was completed in 1945 and is actually a rebuild of Reading I-10SA Class 280 Consolidation Type number 2044. Its main duty was to haul heavy coal trains over most of the very rails we will be traveling today. Retired from freight service in 1956, perhaps the locomotive's greatest fame came in 1962, when it was used to pull the Reading Company's famous Iron Horse Ramble's passenger excursions, which continued through 1964. After several ownership changes over the ensuing two decades, 2102 was purchased by the Reading Northern Railroad in 1986, where it pulled passenger excursions on our original route between Temple and South Hamburg until 1991, when it was placed out of service. Following a five-year, $2.5 million restoration in the Reading and Northern Steam Shop at Fort Clinton, and 31 years since its last appearance in passenger service, 2102 triumphantly returned to the rails in 2022, ushering in an exciting new era of steam passenger excursions to delight both young and old. Behind the 2102, we have an impressive 15-car train today. A description of the particular passenger car you are riding in can be found in the handouts that your car attendants will be distributing a little later. Reading Outer Station is located at the very southern tip of the Reading and Northern Railroad system. The name Outer Station is a nod to the former Reading Company passenger station that was once located near minutes away in downtown Reading on North 6th Street. In further keeping with the Reading Company tradition, our location here at milepost 62 is measured from the former Reading Terminal Passenger Station, which was located on Market Street in the heart of Philadelphia. This was the route of the Reading's most famous passenger trains, such as the Scoople and the King Cole. As we get set to depart Outer Station, your car attendants will be passing through the train to punch and collect your tickets, so please have them ready. They're also here to ensure your comfort and safety aboard the train. Please be sure to retain your ticket stubs, as you will be required to present them to your car attendant prior to boarding the return trip at Jim Thorpe. There are two other trains operating in Jim Thorpe today, and we certainly want to ensure that everyone is on the right train at the right time. You will have the chance to ride one of those other trains if you wish, but we will talk about that later on in the trip. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to ask your car attendant. For now, sit back and enjoy the show as we take you back to 1962 and ramble through some of the most beautiful and diverse scenery in the United States.
broadcast through the railroad's North Reading Yard. A great deal of freight is gathered here and assembled into trains to serve customers as far north as Hazelden, Brandon, and even Montana.